Hi guys, my name is Michelle. I'm a tutor for Chegg Tutors and I usually teach English, math, and psychology. So today we're going to be talking about homeostasis. Homeostasis is any self-regulating process by which biological systems tend to have a stability while they adjust to conditions optimal for survival. So if homeostasis doesn't occur, it might cause chaos in the body. Homeostasis is kept stable by this thing called a dynamic equilibrium, which continually changes but keeps a pretty uniform state throughout. The control of body temperature in, our, uh, in humans would be a good example of homeostasis. So our temperature usually fluctuates around 37 degrees Celsius, and various factors affect this temperature, like metabolic rate, hormones, disease, etc. So the range between high and low body temperature levels constitute the homeostasis, or the normal range. So to break it down into uh, basics, homeostasis involves three key features. So it has to have a clear set point, an ability to detect deviations from this set point, and uh, behavioral and physiological responses that return this body to the set point. So in psychological terms, we can also find homeostasis uh, especially in our moods if we're not feeling overly sad or overly excited, somewhere in the middle, a content feeling, that can also be called homeostasis. So physically, the things that disrupt our balance, like hunger, are called need states. They're usually easy to satisfy. They're primary needs that are necessary for our survival, and they're, they're innate, uh, like food and sleep. On the other hand, psychological needs uh, and disruptions to homeostasis are called drive states. These are secondary, and they're not as easy to satisfy. That's because most of it is influenced from social expectations and cultural beliefs, and these are all learned. So there is constant dynamic tension between homeostasis and creative change. Too much change at once can disrupt internal balance, and too little change can lead to stagnation. So the media really impacts us. They inform us of all disasters and difficulties, and it can make a person tend to want a predictable lifestyle, a solid and unchanging life. And if we forget the critical balance between um, creative change and homeostasis, we might profoundly limit our possibilities for growth and satisfaction in our lives. And our ability to respond to injury and illness uh, might be stagnated as well. So as you can see, homeostasis is very important to our bodies, and there also needs to be a balance of homeostasis itself. Thank you for listening. Have a great night.